Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome to the Work System Engineering and Ergonomics Tutorial Before we start, let's pray together Pray, start Finish In this tutorial, we will discuss about reaction time The illustration on the screen refers to a case study that describes the reaction time the story is that someone sees a ruler falling, so from there, responder needs to process some information and remember what to do whether the ruler is going to be left or the respondent wants to catch it so that the ruler doesn't fall. So from there, in that limited condition, we have to understand how fast we can process the information. Now, this is called reaction time. The outline of this material are first objectives, input and output, Material, case study, and post test. The objectives of the reaction time tutorial are first able to understand the concept of reaction time to a stimulus, able to know how to measure reaction time related to long term memory and short term memory, able to analyze and implement the use of short term memory, able to test the different hypotheses between different reaction time stimuli. This is input and output for the reaction time tutorial. The input are respondent data and test result data. The output are statistical test result and analysis and recommendations. This is the human information processing. HIP or human information processing has three stages which include first understand what information is provided by the environment, Process the information at a higher level And the last one is to respond to this information For the definition, reaction time is the amount of time it takes a person to respond to a stimulus which includes the process of receiving the sensation, perception, and action of a stimulus that occurs when viewed from the chart on the screen, it can be seen that the recognition process is carried out in the five senses and then transmitted to the brain. Furthermore, the response process starts from the nerves that receive information from the brain and then the information is forwarded to action or usually called feedback from certain stimuli. So, to understand more clearly the process from reaction time, let's try to understand the following illustration. In the following picture, it shows that there is a stimulus in the form of a falling ruler. The stimulus forms a sensation in the form of the eye seeing a falling ruler and pass the information to the brain. Furthermore, at the perception stage, the brain will process the information to decide what action to take. And then the person decides to catch the ruler. In the end, this decision is transmitted through the nerves which then occurs at the stage of action where the respondent's hand catches the ruler. The following is the definition of stimulus, sensation, and action. For its definition, a stimulus is everything that happens in the environment around us. The stimulus can be in the form of visual, audio, smell, and movement stimuli. The stimulus is captured by the five senses, which as we know that humans have five senses are eyes is for sight, air is for hearing, Nose is for smell, tongue is for taste, and skin is for touch. And for the definition of sensation is process of receiving a stimulus by the five senses and passing it on to the information center. For example, if we are pinched, it continues to hurt. Well, that means the sensation is pain, which is pain. From this example, we know that the pinch received by the skin is continuously transmitted to the brain as pain. Next, there is a perception process, namely the process by which the brain processes the information received from a stimulus. Or from its definition, perception is an acceptance step in making decisions about existing alternatives. In decision making, a person's perception is influenced by memory. So, there are three memory components which include short-term memory, working memory, and long-term memory. 
Now, we need to know that short-term memory is divided into two stages. It is sensory store, which is a large capacity storage system that records information from the senses accurately. And the second one is short-term memory itself. For example, let's say you want to order McDonald's delivery but you don't know the McDonald's delivery number. Now, my friends open the website, then friends see a series of numbers on the website interface. When friends realize, oh, okay, that's a number. That's what it means by the sensory store. It's different again when friends have realized, oh, there is a number for McDonald's delivery. It's 4510. Now, this is what it's called by short-term memory. The definition of working memory is a short-term storage that contains a small amount of information that it used actively that serves to increase the capacity of coding, storage, and recall of information processing. The process is information stored in working memory can be used that stored repeatedly before or while determining the action to be taken. And the capacity can only store information about 5 to 9 information elements in a short time. The definition of long-term memory is a place for storing information that is more permanent and can hold more information. The storage process at long-term memory takes place through a process of learning and training. Information stored on long-term memory is stored in a structured manner. The definition of action is a feedback that is carried out in response to stimulus. These are the basic types of reaction time experiments. First is simple reaction time experiments. In this type of experiment, there is only one stimulus and one response. Second one is recognition reaction time experiments. This experiment involves several stimulus that should be responded to the memory set and involves several other stimuli that shouldn't be responded to the distractor set. And the last one is choice reaction time experiments. In this experiment, the operator must provide a response that corresponds to the stimulus, such as pressing the key corresponding to a letter if the letter appears on the screen. This is a factor affecting the reaction time. There is age. As we know that at older age, there is a decrease in muscle strength, so that affects a person's reaction time. But the situation is balanced with better emotional stability than the young workforce, which can have a positive effect on doing work. And then gender. In a study that studied the reaction time of limp movement between men and women, it was found that women react more slowly than men. Right versus left hand. Each hemisphere of the brain has several different specific tasks. The left hemisphere is thought to be the verbal and logical brain and the right hemisphere is thought to regulate creativity, spatial relationship, facial recognition, and emotions. Left-handed people were faster than normal people with right hands when the test involved the left hand. But there is no difference in reaction time between right and left-handed when using the right hand. The researchers concluded that left-handed people had an advantage over reaction time. The complexity of the stimulus. The more complex the stimulus, the longer it will take the brain to process it because humans have limitations in processing information. The next factor is fatigue. Reaction time is slower when the subject is tired. This delay due to fatigue is more pronounced in complicated test reaction times than in simple ones. Environmental factors. If you still remember the previous module which is physical work environment, we know that lightning, temperature, humidity, and vibrations can affect a person's performance then also affects a person's reaction time. Physiological factors which include mood, pressure, thoughts, etc. And type of stimulus. 
Many researchers have confirmed that a sound stimulus type is faster than a light stimulus. Alhamdulillah, we have finished this tutorial video section. I hope all of you can get what I have explained. Please take notes for the part that you are still confused about, then ask directly in your tutorial class. See you at the class. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.